Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voilot and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So I'm continuing my series of interviews with people who were panelists on a panel, <laughs> surprise, at Star Wars Celebration Europe called Andor, The Empire, and A History of Resistance. This time I'm featuring Chris Kemshaw and I had the additional pleasure and joy to be meeting Chris for the first time. If you have been listening to the podcast here for a while, then you know that he's appeared on the show a couple of times. So it was cool to interview him again, of course, but it was also cooler to meet him in person, actually. You know, just one of the amazing things about Star Wars Celebration is that you get to meet so many awesome people, and sometimes they're people that you've only interacted with virtually before. So yeah, very fun. And I'll share links to the blog post for this show's episode at SW7X7.com and in the show notes for you know, where you can follow him online and also for a link to listen to the re-recording of that panel. The original recording was on unfortunately lost, but most of the panelists were able to reconvene and re-record and add new material too. For me, for this moment though, it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for this episode as always, and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. And now, without further ado, here is Chris Kemschall's answer to the one question interview from Star Wars Celebration Europe. Hi, what's your name and your Star Wars claim to fame? Uh, my name is Chris Kempshaw. My Star Wars claim to fame obviously is appearing on several episodes of Star Wars 7x7, which everybody should subscribe to. Um, but I wrote the history and politics of Star Wars and co-wrote uh, Star Wars Battles that Changed the Galaxy. Excellent. So what is the biggest unresolved story or mystery in Star Wars that you hope to see resolved in your lifetime? Well, the hope to see has a large asterisk on it, but I'm going to take a silly answer. Does Grand Moff Tarkin actually wear shoes? Because in live action, we have never seen him from the waist or the knee down because Peter Cushing's feet hurt, so he wore slippers. So does Grand Moff Tarkin actually wear shoes? Or is he constantly wearing slippers, but he's so scary, everyone just has collectively in the Empire, just, let's just not... Don't bring it up. No good can come from mentioning that Grand Moff Tarkin is wearing fluffy bunny slippers. So it's the Emperor has no clothes and the Grand Moff... Has no shoes. Right, exactly. <laughs> and so where can people follow you on your Star Wars journey? Uh, people can follow me um, at Chris Kempshaw on Twitter and Instagram. One of the many benefits of being the only Chris Kempshaw in existence is that all of my branding is universal and free. So yeah, check me out on Twitter, check me out on Instagram. If anything exciting ever happens, I'm sure that's where it will get discussed. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alan. Always a pleasure. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, but their respective trademark and copyright holders may the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.